Hello everyone, so far we have enjoyed our time in Brisbane and we would like to tell our thoughts about Brisbane and surrounding areas. So Monique, what were your thoughts about Brisbane? Brisbane looks like a very new city in comparison to London. The buildings, the houses are amazing, everyone's got an amazing house. Flowers that you buy in the shop in the UK, I can't remember the name of it, it's like an orange parrot-like flower. Mm. It's very noisy. What's noisy? Birds. What, what time do they start singing? So like on my first day here, I was waking up by birds, and they start at, they wake up about four, half four, and they start singing. I don't know if you can hear them now, but they're, they're very loud in the morning. Yeah. So what else did you thought about Brisbane? So we took this uh, ferry called, yeah. uh, what is it City called? Cat. City Cat. Yeah. Did you enjoy the ride? Yeah, the ride was really nice. It was relaxing. And you can, it's a good way to see the city, like if you just want to kind of, it's like 40 minutes if you, yeah. if you go all the way down. We also went to Botanical Gardens, which is in Brisbane, and we saw various types of trees and flowers and birds. What are your thoughts about that? Um, that was really nice as well, um, really perfect, everything's like perfect in, in Brisbane and the, gar the grass is cut, there's no rubbish on the floor. Yeah. And people are nice, they're happy and yeah. yeah. Gold Coast is not too far, it's about an hour's drive um, and we went there to just see the sea and also to uh, go to SeaWorld. So it's the first time that I've been in the sea on the beach and um, at Golden Coast, I think there was like a cyclone um, off of the coast, of Golden Gold Coast and so it was so, so windy and the waves were really, really high. Um, so when I got in, I just kind of went up to my stomach. Yeah, it, it, the water was really warm. It was really nice, yeah. Did it impress you? Were you impressed? I was impressed until um, like I heard that Silvis got bitten by a jellyfish. <laughs> and like there was loads of blue jellyfish washed up on the beach, like dead jelly jellyfish. I mm. think maybe because of the cyclone that ha had yeah. happened, but it was really, really windy. So, yeah. so just to let you know, I'm still alive and fine. Mm. Uh, this is the first time I've been uh, um, stung by jellyfish. Uh, it was a little bit painful, but I'm sure it could have been more painful than that. Um, so the other thing we've done in the Gold Coast, we, we went to um, SeaWorld. So tell me, what is SeaWorld and what, what did you see there? I really loved SeaWorld, did mm. you like it? I did, yeah. yeah. As, uh, what, what did we see there? Uh, we saw the first show was these guys on water jets doing all these acrobatic moves on water jets, mm. which was really cool. It was a good atmosphere, but um, I think there was an English guy and an Australian guy who um, were like competing against each other on the water jets. And mm. There was a show with the dolphins and yeah, the dolphins were really lovely. What did they, they do? Um, they were just jumping like dolphins do and swirling in the sky. And then mm. uh, their trainers were riding them, like actually surfing on the, these dolphins. It was pretty cool um, to see that. Um, that was my favourite show. And also the sea lion. That was a pretty cool show. Yeah. Um, the sea lion was in a play. Monique, what are your thoughts about people here? People here are very nice. Um, it's very different from the UK. Yesterday I was looking to, um, for a currency exchange to change my money over and um, uh, all the banks were closed on a Saturday. Or, and um, I asked this local lady and she said, oh, if you can't find the place, come to my workplace and I will take you there. So she began to show me where she worked and told me the directions how to get to this um, money exchange place but she said if I couldn't find it to come to her workplace and she would actually take me there so that was uh, really nice. Yeah, yeah, it seems like people have more positive attitude here they seem to be more can willing to... Can you hear to... that? I can hear, <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure if they can hear it. Oh, it's really really loud, yeah. there's loads of parrots around here. Yeah. The people seem to be more willing to help you out in general they seem to be more happier um, than if you compare it to, to London, yeah. Um, well, the weather 
in Brisbane is it's really, really hot if you're from the UK. But the locals are saying that it's, this is actually a nice temperature uh, because it can get much hotter than what we've experienced. Yeah. <laughs> I, I find it quite a pleasant experience here. If you stand in the sun for a long time and you don't do anything, then it may feel, it probably will feel quite hot. As long as you're in the, in the shade, it feels quite nice. And I think in the evenings it feels very, very nice. Yeah. And, and N now it's about, oh, my watch is on upside down. It's about um, 5.35 and it's a nice temperature, but mm. in the middle of the day, about 12 to 3, it can be really, really hot. Yeah. Australians like to have local food. Uh, they tend to uh, support local producers, um, especially the vegetables and um, fruits. So what do you think about the food? Has that been a nice experience? What do you yeah, food's nice. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, the grapes, the tomatoes, the taste of something. Like in the UK, sometimes a tomato can not taste of anything. Mm. It can be just kind of tasteless, but here, all the food have like, the fresh food, they've got proper flavours, haven't mm. they? Like the grapes as yeah. well. One of the usual thing was, it seems the food is, um, maybe not everything, but a lot of things seem to be half not half, twice twice expensive what we yeah. have in the UK. Say bananas, uh, we may have about 70p. Uh, here it seems to be about 150 uh, pounds. Obviously there's three, about three dollars here. Uh, so food seems to be quite more expensive. Yeah. We bought some yeah. cereal and it was 24 dollars. Which 25 dollars. 25 dollars. Mm. How much is that in pounds? It's about half, so it's about uh, 12, 12, 50, 30, about 13 pounds, 13 pounds cereal. for some cereal. It was in Australia grown, uh, so they all, it was very natural and gluten free, so it was very good cereal, very tasty, but it's a, I think that's the world's most expensive cereal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. Things are quite expensive, food is quite expensive here. Yeah. Yeah. Saying that petrol prices are half for what we're paying in the UK. Yeah. In the UK we're paying about a pound, slightly more, for petrol uh, now 2015 obviously when this recording goes out it may be different or when you watch this it, petrol prices may be different and the uk in in australia the petrol prices is about for about 50 cent pence which is pretty good so we've been driving a lot and not been using much petrol at all uh what else we ate a kangaroo so here not a whole kangaroo but kangaroo we ate kangaroo sausage so sausage and steak mm. and apparently here they have kangaroos in zoos but the kangaroos that they don't like are the grey kangaroos because there's loads of them and they like eat all the farmers produce and stuff mm. so I think we probably ate a grey kangaroo not probably. entirely sure which it one? wasn't going to be the ones in the zoo because that doesn't make sense. not in the zoo but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah here they have kangaroos in the zoo and they also eat kangaroos yeah. Did you, did you like the taste of the kangaroo? Um, I didn't mind the taste of the kangaroo <laughs> at all. That was quite nice. I, I was told that it's very low fat meat, so it's probably good if you go out to the gym and if you want to build muscles. Um, so I think for bodybuilders, it's excellent meat. Um, I personally don't, I don't like eating kangaroos. <laughs> <laughs> it did taste okay. Yeah, we just tried it once. I don't think I'm going to do it again. I'm yeah. not sure. Not sure I um, agree with eating a kangaroo. If yeah. that's the right thing to do. When you're in Australia, you've got to do as the Aussies do, don't you? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> now we are in uh, Dunan, which is uh, about 15, 20 minutes from Noosa, uh, which is in Sunshine Coast. So we're going to be exploring this area and um, in the videos to come you're going to see more updates from us about this particular area talk later bye bye